When you think of golf ball innovation, you think of your tight list, your Callaway, your Bridgestone, and even your TaylorMades. You don't, however, instantly think of Wilson. Well, they've brought a golf ball out, which is changing that potentially. Is it gonna be game changing or is it a bit of a gimmick? So Wilson are bringing out two new golf balls, the Staff Model and the Staff Model R. Now the difference is the Staff Model is a painted urethane four-piece golf ball. The Model R, get this, is an unpainted golf ball. Still urethane, still four-piece, but it's not painted. Now why is that important? Well, Wilson are claiming that painted urethane golf balls have some flaws. The way that the paint is spread across the ball can be inconsistent. Now using a UV light and showing it over a few different urethane golf balls from different brands, you do start to see a little bit of blotchiness on certain golf balls. Certainly in the dimples and the crevices of the golf ball. Now Wilson are claiming those little imperfections of paint, blotches, etc could affect how the golf ball flies. So that's why they brought out a golf ball that's completely unpainted, a raw golf ball, because they reckon that way you are gonna get the absolute best performance from a golf ball because there is no paint splodges. So I'm gonna start this golf ball test where I always like to start with a golf ball around the green. Let's test it for feel first, because even just to the touch, this raw golf ball feels soft. I wanna see how it copes around the green. I'm also gonna test it for spin, without question. I feel like this is gonna spin like crazy. I'm also gonna test this golf ball for durability. I'm thinking with it being not painted, it's not gonna last that long. Let's see if that's the case. And I'm also gonna test it off the tee. Am I actually gonna be able to see any difference in ball flight? Is this golf ball gonna go straighter? Well, let's go and find out. So they're not as soft as I thought they were gonna be. On initial thoughts, when I even just stick my fingernail into them, I thought they were gonna be super soft, but around the green, they're actually quite firm. It also felt a little bit hard off the putter as well. One thing I did like, however, was the lineup line. Very simple, very effective. I think that's a really nice feature on this ball. Spin-wise, again, not as spinny as I expected them to be, which is a real shame. Another thing to note, I've just hit some golf balls. These are six golf balls I've just been hitting with. These golf balls, and some of them I've only hit once, the pitch shot you might have just seen, they look like they've been in the bottom of a practice bag for three years. They're just mucky. They don't look clean, which is a real shame. Maybe that paint gave it that little bit of lacquer to keep them clean. Next test, durability. So I'm gonna take a brand new golf ball into the bunker and hit 10 shots with this ball. So after that test, the golf ball has definitely gathered more dirt. But after wiping it off and giving it a clean, durability-wise, it's a strange one. The cover's not scratched that much. So I've seen other balls where you can actually see almost the groove marks on the ball. But what I have noticed is like this weird, like the ball just doesn't look new anymore. It looks really, really dirty, and almost like it's been found after six months lost in a bush. 
Another very noticeable thing along this seam line all the way around the golf ball is this weird now dirty mark all the way around. Very, very strange. I wouldn't be happy with that ball. I'd have to change that golf ball now. And it comes on to another point. Price-wise, these are 40 odd pound a dozen. So it's not like they're cheap. And you have to replace these. I mean, you probably only get three or four holes out of it. However, if it flies straighter and more consistently, then maybe it's worth that sacrifice. We're gonna test that next. We're gonna hit some drives to see what it's like off the tee and also hit it into a par three. But you know the screen. This wouldn't be a ball review if we didn't chop one in half. Let's see what's inside this Wilson Raw ball. Inside, we've got the four layers. Urethane, outer mantle, inner mantle, core. Everything looks in order, everything looks symmetrical. That's the inside of the ball. Now I'm gonna be honest, testing if these golf balls go straighter is gonna be quite difficult. As you know, I hit it offline every now and again. I'm not a robot. But I've tested lots of golf balls in the past, so I'm going to have an idea of how these golf balls are going to fly. But then, for a true test of accuracy, next level is a par three, that will be a real test. See how close I can get it to the hole and potentially a hole in one. Let's hit it with driver first. I've got GC quite up and ready as well, just to check out distances. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So painted or unpainted, it doesn't matter. That golf ball went out of bounds, miles left. That was straight. Oh. So after hitting driver there, I hit some really straight ones. However, I also hit two in the trees out of bounds. So uh, not particularly holding much hope yet. However, the next test is gonna be on a par three. And if I get a hole in one, hey, I could be completely changing my mind. Distance wise off the tee there with GC quad, getting about the numbers I normally get. Just under 280 yards of carry, 160 miles per hour ball speed, spin rate 2,500, all the boxes are ticked there. Let's get to the next hole. Go on, go on. Oh, that's close. Okay, I've hit some close so far. Let's go one more. So I'm gonna break my summary of this golf ball into two parts. First off, a general review of the ball. Is it decent? Yeah, it's okay. For what I'm seeing with the performance of this ball around the green, the feel, the touch, the spin, it's everything a premium golf ball should do. A little bit harder than what I'd expect to feel, but I know a lot of players like that also. Off the tee, again, very solid. Ball speed was good, spin rate was good, distance was solid. As an overall ball, it's pretty decent. Now coming on to second part of the analysis. Does this raw golf ball fly any straighter? Is it any more accurate than a painted golf ball? Well, I hit driver shots and you saw I hit a couple into the trees. I hit the wedge shots into the green and like I say, I should be hitting wedge shots onto the green nice and close and the performance was solid. Did I think it was any better than a painted golf ball? I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I can't tell. It's so hard to measure. Being able to measure an unpainted golf ball, a raw golf ball against the painted is, is near impossible. So I don't know. And I'd like to give you the best information. I'd like to have a definitive answer at the end of all my videos. But in this one, I honestly, hand on heart, cannot tell. Whether it makes a difference or not, I think time will tell. Are we gonna see the best players in the world potentially moving to raw, unpainted golf balls? 
Those guys are going to test it and know if it makes a massive difference. For me in this review, I can't tell much of a difference. I don't know if it's much of a gimmick. I don't know if it's going to work, but it is a little bit of an interesting story. We'll see you next time.